Hey guys, Gloria McDonald here and welcome to Monday's Daily Dose of Awesome. Let me know where you're coming in from. I'm Gloria McDonald and this is Elite Marketing Pro's Daily Dose of Awesome, your 15 minutes of motivation, inspiration and education. Hey John, great to see you here. Just put some comments below. Hey Marilyn, super great to see you. Curtis, great to see you guys. Let me know where you're coming in from. Hey Tomas. Nicole, great to see you guys. Michelle, Julia, super, super, super. So again, comment where you're coming in from. Hey, Cecilia, Tom, Debbie, so great to see all you guys. And happy Monday. Now, I am wearing my red scarf here today because this is Valentine's week. And I wanted to share some special information with you for Valentine's week. Hey, Wichita Canvas, great, great to see you, Sandra. Laura, super great to see all you guys. Hey, John from Oregon. Great, super happy to see everybody here. And again, happy Valentine's week. And I'm Gloria McDonald. And welcome to today's Daily Dose of, Dose of Awesome, hosted by Elite Marketing Pro. For those of you who are just hopping on, hey, Sally, great to see you. Alan, Hannah, great to see you from California. Okay, so, um, I am going to be sharing with you today the six secret languages you need to know to get and keep more team members. So wouldn't it be fantastic if you could actually keep more team members? So put a comment in the one, put a comment number one, put a number one in the comments below if you have ever recruited anybody into your team and they've started off and then they fizzled out and quit or put a one in the comments below if you have ever quit or changed companies. Yes, Cecilia won, Christine won, yes, Curtis won. Okay, so Flora won. We've all had it happen. I can't even begin to tell you the number of people that I've recruited into one of many different network marketing companies who have either never gotten started or they got started and then they fizzled out because they only made a little bit of money or they didn't make any money or the rejection started coming in and it got difficult. So yes, so you've all experienced this. And so here's something you might not know about me. I owned a high-end matchmaking business for 14 years. This was not an online dating service, but I literally went into people's homes and interviewed people one-on-one. -on -one. Hey, Krista, great to see you here. And so I have literally interviewed hundreds and hundreds of single men and women over a 14 year period. And I learned so much about relationships. And I realized that what I learned about relationships and building those relationships had everything to do with how to build a team in network marketing. So I want to share some of those things with you today. And if you're a member of the Elite Marketing Pro community, or if you're here for the very first time, um, again, give me a yes in the comments if you would really love to learn these six secret languages to not only get more team members, but really keep more team members. Because again, keeping people, wow, I mean, that is a huge part of it. There's no point in churning and burning through this. Uh, because it's just going to be so much more work for you. So put a one, uh, sorry, put a yes in the comments if you would really learn to love how to, love to learn how to keep more team members. Hey, Alan, yes, 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 I did own a matchmaking business. Okay, so language number one, and this is a language where I coined the terminology for it. I call it the IVL, which is the intrinsic value language. So one of the things I did when I interviewed people for my matchmaking business, I asked them a whole bunch of questions to really find out what was important to them. And you see, from a network marketing point of view, it's been proven over and over again. There's been all, kind, all kinds of scientific studies that have been done that have shown that money never motivates people prizes, uh, trips, all these things don't motivate people. In fact, they have a long-term negative impact. Now that's a whole nother story, but what you really want to know to get more people onto your team is what are the intrinsic values that motivate your prospect? So here's some questions 
that I used to ask people when I was interviewing them for my matchmaking business. I would ask them if time and money were no object at all, where would you love to live? What kind of a home would you love to live in? And I would take notes. And I asked, I started to realize that this worked, and I started asking every single prospect that I spoke to in my network marketing company these questions before they ever joined. Now this might seem awkward to you, but trust me, once you get this down, it will make all the difference in the world to you. So you start asking them, so let me ask you some questions. If time and money were no object, what kind of home would you love to live in? Where would it be? Would you like to have multiple homes? And you keep asking them all kinds of questions. And then you ask them, would they love to travel? Where would they love to travel? How would they love to travel? You know, if time and money were no object, would you stay in five-star hotels? Or would you trek Mount Kilimanjaro? Or would you uh, love to go to major cities in Europe and go to art galleries and museums? What kind of travel would you love to do? If time and money were no object, is there anything you would do with or for your family and friends? And then you might find out that, you know, the most important thing for your prospect is sending their kids to college or university or paying off a mortgage or being able to take care of their elderly parents. So give me a two in the comments below if this is making sense to you, asking these questions and really learning what are the intrinsic values. Uh, for your prospect because when you know these and when you've had this kind of conversation with your prospect they feel like they're really heard that they've really been listened to and that you really know them and then a couple other questions that I would ask them is you know do you have any goals in terms of your health and fitness what would you love to create in terms of your health and fitness and um, are there ways in which you would love to give back to your community uh, to any special interest that you have, you know, do you uh, have an interest in animals and helping animals or the environment or any particular uh, religious group or anything like that. So again, put a two in the comments if this is making sense to you. And if, if you understand that asking these kinds of questions and really getting to know your prospect would be incredibly helpful and make them feel like they're being heard. Okay, so that's language number one. Now, language, the next five languages are from an incredible book that I highly recommend to everybody, and it's called The Five Love Languages by Gary Chapman. Now, the subtitle for this book is How to Express Heartfelt Commitment to Your Mate. Well, what if it's how to express commitment to your team mate? Now, this might sound a little funny, but trust me, not only is this book amazing for your personal relationships, but if you really understand your teammates love language, it will make all the difference in the world to how you retain your teammates. Now, I'll tell you a story about my own personal experience and how this book really saved the day for me. This was quite a while ago when my husband and I were uh, dating. 15 years ago and it was the spring and I had my golf clubs at his condo because we would go golfing on the weekends and we would leave from his condo so I got to his condo one one night after work and my golf clubs were in the living room and I went and looked and there he was this is one of my golf clubs right here there he was putting this little tag on my golf club and my instant reaction was what on earth, although I didn't use those words, but my instant reaction was like, what on earth are you doing with that? I didn't say anything, but that's what was going on in my head. And, and I thought, I don't want this sticker on my golf clubs. And he didn't even ask me if he could put that on there. And then I looked and to make it even worse, what it was, was his name and phone number, not even mine. And they were my golf clubs. And I was just fuming, but, Fortunately, I kept my mouth sipped and then it hit me because I had read The Five Love Languages by Gary Chapman. It hit me that my husband's love language is acts of service. And by him putting the his name and phone number on my golf clubs, what he was saying was, I'm taking care of you because if you ever leave one of your golf clubs, on the golf course beside the green or anything and someone phones me, 
I will always know where you are and I will always be able to get your golf club to you. So in the most powerful way, when I was about to explode because I was just livid, in the most powerful way, my husband was screaming at me, I love you and we're a couple and I'm taking care of you. So how are your team members screaming to you either calling for love or how are they giving you love? And think about this with your upline and your sideline as well. So if you're getting value out of this, again, put some comments below, put a three in the comments below if you're getting value out of this and if this is really making sense to you. Great, 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 great. Thank you guys. I'm so happy this is making sense to you. Okay, now, so let's dig into what these five love language are languages are and how you can really use them in your business. So love language number one is words of affirmation. Now my two love languages, I'll tell you what my two love languages are, they're words of affirmation, that's number two for me, but physical touch is number one for me. So now obviously that makes sense in a romantic relationship, but you can also do it with your team. You know it could be something like a pat on the back or you know just touching someone's arm. Someone whose love language is physical touch, I'm a huge hugger and if any of you have met me in person, I will give you a hug even if you're a total stranger. But we're bonded because we're in this community together. So I hope if I haven't met you already that I will meet you at some point in time and you'll have to forgive me if your love language is not physical touch because I'm very touchy-feely. But pay attention to how you express your love because as human beings we don't Think about the fact that people have different love, love languages and we express to other people what our love language is without taking into account what their love language is. So number one is words of affirmation and people whose love language is words of affirmation, they need to hear you say, you know what, John, you're doing a great job. You're, you know, kudos to you for getting out there and uh, starting to really try to build your business online or congratulations for doing your fa first Facebook Live. They need those words of affirmation. And if you're somebody who doesn't need words of affirmation, pay attention to how your team members are communicating with you and then you'll start to see, ah, if your team member is always telling you you're doing a good job, then that's probably their love language, words of affirmation. So you need to start telling them that they're doing a good job. Um, love language number two is quality time. Now, if your love language is not quality time, you might have some of these people on your team and you might think of them as time suckers and time wasters. But it could very well be that that is their primary love language that is super important to them to spend time with you and spending time with you one-on-one, -on -one, uninterrupted. So with these people, you might need to get on a call with them once a week, just the two of you, even if it's for five to 10 minutes and really ask them what's going on for them. So again, if this is resonating with you, give me a five in the comments below. Let me know if this, is, if this makes sense to you. Great guys. So great to see you here. Yes, Sally, I did give you a hug when we were together. <laughs> okay, so love language number three is receiving gifts. For some people, actually having a physical gift is super, super important. So pay attention again to how your upline, your sideline, your team members are relating to you. If you've got somebody on your team that's always bringing you a little trinket, maybe they've gone away on vacation somewhere and they come back with some little gift for you, or you know they bring you cookies when they come to see you, or they bring you a cup of coffee, pay attention to that because receiving gifts is probably their primary love language, in which case you will do the most for creating a relationship with them and making them feel valued, appreciated, and important by communicating with them in their love language. Gifts might not mean anything to you, but think about, okay, what little gift, a physical gift, could you give them so that they start to feel like a really, really important part of your team? And when you start doing this, your retention will go up 
and up and up because we're all human beings. And let's face it, rejection is tough in network marketing, unless of course you're learning attraction marketing and learning more and more and more how to literally bring people to you. But still your teammates will need to know that you appreciate them, that you value them and that they are important to you. So pay attention to how they're communicating with you and what their love languages are. Okay. Now, love language number four is acts of service. I talked about that with the example of my husband and how he put the, his name and phone number on my golf clubs. So pay attention if you've got a team member who is always trying to do little things for you, help you out in some way or another. Like an example I had, which drove me bananas because it was not my love language. And this was before I knew about love languages. I was in a skincare uh, company and I had a member on my team who loved to put little samples in little bags with bows on them. So she would make up all these sample bags for me with these little bows and everything. And the little bows and all the cutesy stuff was so not me. It drove me bananas. And I did not recognize that her love language was acts of service. So in her best way, she was telling me that she valued, appreciated, and cared for me and probably respected me, and I was basically throwing it out the window. So pay attention to how people are, are, again, responding to you. And the last love language, which I've talked about, is physical touch. So again, if you've got somebody who loves to hug you, pay attention. And then you might not be a big hugger, but get out of your comfort zone and either give them a hug, like literally touch their shoulder, um, you know, put your hand on, on their arm or something like that. Pay attention to your teammates love languages. So I hope that was valuable guys. Um, I have found this to be make such a huge difference in building relationships, not just with your friends and family members. And if you've got kids, trust me, you want to know what your kids love language is. And Gary Chapman has a book, the five love languages for kids. And in the back of this book, there are three little uh, surveys that you can do. One for men, so that you understand what your love language is. A different one for women, so that you understand what your love language is. And uh, a questionnaire for kids, so you can start to understand what your kids' love languages are. So, thanks so much, guys. And if you are not a member of Elite Marketing Pro and you found this valuable and you'd love to get more information on how to build your business, grow a team, and keep your team, hop on over to EliteMarketingPro.com. There's some super valuable information there on how to use attraction marketing. There's some valuable information there on uh on three-way messaging, and there's a free gift from me that I created on LinkedIn recruiting scripts, and it's called the LinkedIn recruiting script grab bag. And again, that's over at EliteMarketingPro.com. And if someone shared this video with you, by the way, I hope all of you are sharing this. If someone shared it with you, get back to the person that shared it with you to find out more about Elite Marketing Pro. Thanks so much, guys. Don't forget the five love languages plus the intrinsic value language. Thanks so much. I'll see you again soon. Bye.